did 55 respirations. Hi guys. <laughs> um, so this is going to be um, primarily a, a video for my YouTube channel, um, but obviously we're live on the Vintage Camper Trailer. Um, and this one's going to be about uh, trailer refrigerators. So um, if you haven't looked up Vintage Camper Trailer magazine, he knows about Vintage Camper Trailers. Um, we got a Marvel slash Marvel. Because I've heard everybody say both. Yeah, right? I say Marvel. Just have you gotten lazy. confirmation from anybody? No. Yeah, no. no, me neither. Everybody Nobody says Nobody ever it. calls me on. No, me neither. But I don't want to say Marvel because I, I think feel like they I'm think that fancy. I know, so they probably change the way they say. Yeah, it, same I thing. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's like Serval and Servel too. <laughs> the same thing. Um, speaking of which, that's another uh, uh, trailer uh, refrigerator you see in trailers a lot. Servals, Servels, uh, but those are gas. Um, so this one specifically, um, you see these a lot in 50s trailers, um, and there's a, two different two different versions. One has a little hook handle here, and one has a push button that ejects it. But um, basically, the the cool thing about these is that they're 110 and an ice box. So um, real small, but the difference between these is if you're on 110, you have to be plugged in. Um, if you're uh, if you have a 12 volt system or a propane system. Um, or an alcohol system, you can you can be unplugged and have your fridge running. With 110, you can't. Once you get on the road, you're done cooling. Uh, this has an ice box aspect. Hi, Eleanor. <laughs> this is my daughter walking through. Um, and uh, so you you guys so were just talking about this yes. because when we travel and have the 110 refrigerator, you're limited to to boondock as much, or at least being in the refrigerator as much. But they do take a block of ice and yeah. work like a glorified ice box. Yeah, as well. but like with a larger refrigerator, like in his Spartan or uh, the one with glider too. The gli well, this is a big 110. It's a sanitary yeah. 110. Okay, so with with a 110 system, generally they're not set up for also being an ice box so you can put an ice block in there but then the whole thing fills with water right. once it starts melting so the cool thing about these is they're set up to be ice boxes so this drain, drain even right yeah, yeah yeah so you put your ice blocks in here and it drains down straight through the bottom of your trailer once it starts melting so you don't actually even need to plug in if you want to use it as a big cooler but once you plug it in that ice stays hard and then you unplug, drive, and it stays cool until you can plug in again. So it's it's a dual system before they were really using uh, you know, dual propane. Do you have anything with uh, like dual propane systems? Nothing yeah. vintage. Okay. So just they, they really kind of came out. Retrofit a modern trailer. Yeah. A lot of people use those. They're great. Um, generally, if you have one, though, I mean, have you seen any? What are you doing? Like not, not earlier. Than I think that's when they pretty much started. Most of it was one pin, and most of the trailers that had refrigerators either had just the ice box, like a 50 Shasta, mm -hmm. or they had a 110 system because they were more of a park one. Yeah, they so weren't. They weren't generally it wasn't both. made to be both camp and boondock. And this is the, and what, that's what makes these so nice. Is they're the kind of in between one. Um, these generally fit in the same space as those early ice boxes. Um, but they're not huge, they're not for park models, they're for you know, having something that you can park, but also that you road trip. So these are these are really popular, um, but uh, as far as vintage trailer refrigerators go, you can have something as large as this in there if you, you know you have a I mean, bigger trailer, bigger trailer. Yeah. even not a park model, just a larger one like he has. Uh, but uh, they're all 110, obviously. And uh, So the one thing I'd, I'd tell you about these, if you've got one, that we were talking about just now, is Traditionally, this plastic here is typically plastic. And it, yeah, and it just gets brittle and old over the years and literally falls apart. And so, um, this is a carpet strip here, and we've done the same or similar to this, uh, or even if you've got the ability to break aluminum and make something that fits. Mine, mine's a little different in the sanitary. I actually had to cover a gap, and so we actually made ours out as well, uh, aluminum on a break. There's a gap, there's a gap in this one too, there. Yeah. But which is why there's not screws right here, uh -huh. because on this side it's just a gap, but on this side, this is actually where your line is run, oh, okay. and your cap tube, so if you put a screw straight in Center, your puncture and your tube. Okay. Um, so this is actually just that. Uh, but this is a good fix. If you've got one of these and it's falling apart, you never find one with them all. Oh, they're horrible. Yeah. They're horrible. And once they break, they just crumble. Yeah. So. But so that's a, a quick little primer. Primer. That's a lots of potato potatoes today. <laughs> we don't have to pronounce anything. Um, <laughs> um, little little thing about uh, trailer uh, trailer for trailers. Um, oh, and this is live from uh, Modernism Week. Modernism Week, yeah, 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 one more day if you're in Palm Springs. Yeah, come out.
stuff. I'm learning yeah. about my refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say one working. word? <laughs> <laughs> the one working right across the Anyway, thank you so. I guess they're watching us on Facebook. I guess so. <laughs> from here. So, all right. Thanks for tuning in. Check out Justin Vintage 55 Restorations, and we'll see y'all later. Camper Magazine. Vintage Trailer Camper Magazine. Go.